All right, here's the deal, guys. I'm sweaty AF. I'm sorry, I just came from the gym. Anyway, I want to make my own hanger rack out of pipes that are usually used for plumbing. So I already bought the pipes. I am on my way to look for a machine shop that will like bore the, what's it called? I don't know if, if it's called threading or treading because here it's pronounced the same way. But anyway, it's, it's that part of the pipe that you screw into the joint. So I need that done to my pipes. This spot looks as good as any. They probably have what we need. All right, folks, so these are my pipes. And basically what I was saying was I want this to happen. This is what I need. So I don't know if it's thread or thread. Can someone please help me? machine shop and I'm going back for them tomorrow uh, now I'm gonna go home for a much needed shower and then tomorrow we're gonna put the whole thing together and then paint it okay guys so I just woke up it's been two days yesterday June and I picked up the already threaded I now know the answer pipes and now I'm gonna put them together. I'm here behind our house. I just woke up this morning, obviously. And why, what's with the shades? Well, I wanna say it's protective eyewear, but really it's just cause I don't wanna put makeup and I'm trying to shoot a video. This is, this is the filter that is between me and you. It is no longer makeup. <laughs> So I did it, it's done. My hands have gotten dirty. That's right, I get my hands dirty. I get the job done. They're also quite painful actually from all the turning. And I just want to bring your attention. Look, this is little kitty cats. It's kitty cat pajamas. Anyway, so we're gonna stand this thing up. Now that it's all assembled, here's what it looks like. It's somewhere around two meters tall. It's like a meter tall each, something like that. So I tried to put everything on as tight as I possibly could. But yeah, I think the real challenge was like these bolts here because once you put one side in, it makes the other side uh, difficult to turn in. It's like the more you tighten this, the looser this will get, so you really have to tighten one of them as much as you possibly can. And there you have it. Now it just needs to be painted, and that is my new hanger rack. Now you might be wondering, why am I looking for such a temporary storage solution for my clothes? The reason why I'm not doing anything like permanent, like having closets built or anything like that, is I'm renting an apartment in the city and because it's a rental I'm not sure really how long I'm going to be staying in this particular apartment I might move after a year could be a little more could be a little less so I need something that will not just fit into a smaller space because I'm used to you know living in a house I have all my life but I also don't necessarily want to do any construction that's like into the walls for my clothes. Here is the space behind me where I'm going to be putting the two layer rack. This thing is from Ikea. I built that myself. It's loud because the guys from Alpha are installing a shoe storage over here. And here's my other dressing for my clothes. You're like, wait, the shoes get 
Uninstalled storage? Well, yes, because they're shoes, of course. Don't even with me. So you guys won't believe what happened. I already got it cleaned, I got it painted, and they were taking it out of the car to bring it up to the apartment, and one of the pipes broke. I'm not really mad about it because that shouldn't happen. I'm really tempted to buy you know like a, a store-bought one there there's one that uh, comes in from I think Europe it's not too expensive but it just annoys me because I really want to make my own so I think I'm gonna try one more time I'm gonna buy all new pipes and everything I'm gonna attribute the breaking to like over threading I'm gonna try it all over again it's a small price to pay to find out the truth we're back at the machine shop back at the machine shop as you can see we have all new materials all over again this is a new addition and I think it's gonna be a game changer and I'm gonna show you guys why in a bit new pipes well I don't know if I showed you the last ones but these ones are thicker um, schedule 40 and I asked for black iron this time We have laid out all of the pipes. These are new pipes, they're black iron. So I figured out that it looks much better if you use black iron pipes. The size is schedule 40. And what you want to do is lay everything out, all of the parts out, how you want to do it. And I guess that's it. Let's get started. Step one is remove your heels. You don't need to be wearing heels for this particular project. Step two is I'm gonna keep my shades on. Game. done with the whole project uh, I figured that it's actually pretty easy to do for yourself but it only is if you know absolutely what you're doing beforehand that being said I'm going to give you all of my lessons so that you can go forth and do this with the utmost ease I learned that you cannot use anything less thick than schedule 40 sized pipes that's the thickness of the pipe uh, when you have them threaded the threading can't like make the pipe too thin so I learned that it's called threading and so if you use schedule 40 it's gonna be nice and strong enough so that um, you can clean it after and do things and the pipes won't bend or break the ultimate game changer when I did it the second time around was I bought this pipe connector <laughs> yeah, that pipe connector to, I really thought it was called onion. So every every hardware store that I went to or even in the machine shop, they were like, "Oh, kailangan mo ng onion." Ganun, ganun, ganun. And then nung search ko sa internet, union pala tawag doon. It's called a union connector. And at first I was like, "Oh, no one how creative. No wonder it's called onion because like it's like a bolt inside of another bolt and comes in layers like an onion. No, union used to connect two straight pipes, okay? That was the ultimate game changer. And also having 
another little mini pipe a little tiny pipe that's like threaded to be the male part on on both sides that's called a nipple <laughs> anyway you connect one side to the union not onion and the other threaded side into the T. and that way you don't have the difficult thing going on where you have to fully tighten it on one side and then put it in the other and it'll loosen on the other side that's what was happening it was kind of like a tug of war in the beginning where the pipes that were connecting the two sides one in the middle and one at the top you couldn't connect them fully to the tightness that you wanted without unscrewing the other end and that's why you need the union another thing is it actually looks a lot better when you use black iron but you definitely definitely need to take time to clean the pipes probably more than once so give them a good clean the first time and then use i don't know it, i i don't think it's enough to use soap and water it, it's better to use like some kind of chemical to clean the pipes to make sure that they don't stain any of your clothes especially if you're gonna be putting white clothes onto you know your hanger rack you don't want to be staining any of your clothes bonus tip wear gloves because tightening the pipes isn't just dirty it's also kind of painful and i think weightlifting gloves or rubber gloves should do fine so it's a pretty simple project to do for yourself and very very useful because to have the two layers it's really space saving and you can store more clothes in one area i think pretty much anyone can do it so i wish all of you the best of luck hopefully my mistakes can um become your lessons so that you don't have to go through the annoying parts that i went through and good luck with your diying guys